According to the South Front, the Syrian Democratic Forces and the U.S. coalition conducted a campaign to arrest an IS commander, thought to be hiding in a house in the al tukihi town, southeast of Deir Ezzor. After the fierce battle, the IS commander was defeated, but the Syrian Democratic Forces and the U.S. coalition also suffered casualties. Rebels IS AMAQ confirmed this information. The IS commander died after refusing to surrender. This house was bombed by an international alliance. Several U.S. coalition soldiers and Syrian Democratic forces also suffered casualties in the clash. Local sources added that airstrikes killed at least five civilians. However, this information has not been confirmed. This is the latest attack in a campaign against terrorism conducted by Syrian Democratic Forces and U.S. coalition forces in northeastern Syria. Last week, his oil minister Thabit Sobifard al-Ahmad was annihilated in a similar campaign by the Syrian Democratic Forces in East Deir Ezzor. In related developments, the IS rebels launched the largest scale attack since earlier this year against Syrian Democratic bases in the Al Omar oil field, Deir Ezzor. The fierce fighting took place near the Al Omar oil field, causing many casualties on all sides. Syrian Human Rights Watch led local sources on July 17. The military council Deir Ezzor added that on the side of the Syrian Democratic Forces, at least four militants were killed and some others were injured.